18 didn't receive any patches or um, letters until you hit varsity. That's when you'll get your letter. So they have one more year, something to look forward to. Up first, our only senior night hawk this year, Jaden Garcia. <laughs>
and this young lady um, had multiple sports slash multiple excuses, but I loved her, okay? Miss Athena Usek. Let's go. 
Well, there's one thing we forgot. Those priceless moments. Um, golf team, let's go, I mean, excuse me, swim team. Let's go over here in front of the podium with the coach and let's have a wonderful opportunity for our parents to take a picture for this wonderful house participation this year in today's, this year's swim team. They will also receive the feather and the cash for swim. So go ahead and let's hold our certificates and let's get some big old cheeses to our parents over there.
So for most outstanding player, Natavia Jenkins.
All right, ladies. All right, ladies. Take a picture with uh, Principal Baker, standing, sitting right, seated in the bleachers. Three, two, one. Jeez. All right. Before we finish tonight's ceremony, uh, a round of applause. So sorry, I don't want to cut that off. Round of applause. Don't want to cut that off. That is well, well deserved. Before we conclude tonight's ceremony, uh, Coach Arsenich would like to give you a few announcements to look forward to next year, and then Principal Baker will have some closing remarks. Without further ado, Coach Arsenich. All right. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate it. Um, real quick, if you're a senior, go ahead and stand up, seniors. Let's give them a round of applause. I know personally, I'm going to be missing a lot of these kids. Um, I, I didn't coach each and every one of them, but they're amazing. They would always come up and say hi to me. Um, they are the embodiment of a student athlete, each one of them, and um, we're definitely going to miss you guys. Thank you. Um, everybody else, all these other athletes, for next season, one, go out for another sport. Be a multi-sport athlete. That's what those colleges are looking for. Keep your grades up. Um, think about doing something in the fall. Um, get your athletic clearances in early and your physicals done quickly, right? Don't let those hold you up. Um, other than that, for me, I'm very proud of each and every one of you, um, and I hope you guys have an amazing summer. All right, before we go, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you. If it wasn't for you getting your kids to practice, from practice, coming to the game to support and help them with fundraisers, none of this would be possible. We appreciate you and everything you do and being involved in what we do here at Natomas High School. Thank you very much. And with that, good night, folks. Let's skip for this time. 3.5 GPA. Come on up. With a 3.33 GPA, Ronald Alvarado. With a 3.33 GPA, Danielle Jennings. She got a 3.5, we messed it up. <laughs> Emmanuel Oyubu has a 3.167 GPA. <laughs> David Excel Umwawa Unan Unanwa has a 4.167 GPA. <laughs> Alexandra Bulum has a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> We're now on the softball team. There's a lot of people on the softball team. Another softball player with a 4.0 GPA is DeAsia Green. <laughs> Another softball 4.0 GPA, Maria Martin Gutierrez. Madison Ragusa. It's getting repetitive around here. 
Another softball 4.0 GPA, Nadine Vasquez.
Stephen Babcock with a 3.167 GPA. Isaiah Boothsara with a 3.0 GPA.
Wonderful athletes, if you can scoot together a little closer. Principal Baker will take our, our website photo. If you, have not, if you have not noticed, Principal Baker sends out a newsletter, and that's where you'll see all these photos. That every Sunday you should see a news, you should see an email with a newsletter. All right, students, three, two, one, cheese. All right, now we're going to get into our coaches award. Okay. All right, before we do the coaches award, we're going to go ahead and do all league award, and Jer Mr. Arsage will do those awards. All right. So we do have some athletes that we want to recognize real quick uh, for their uh, work on the court, field, uh, pool. Uh, every league or every sport usually gets an all-league. For the individualized sports, it usually uh, goes to who places first at their competition. So we did have two of those, which uh, uh, Abby, Abby Velez and Danielle Jennings. <laughs> They should have already received patches from the league. Uh, baseball, Julia Maldonado. Woo! Softball, Destiny Roberts. So, so, good question. So, I'll leave when for the individualized sports, it's whoever comes in first in their competition. So, like for track, we didn't have any all league because we didn't have anybody to place first. We had kids advance. Same with swim. No one, no one won their race outright. Uh, for the team sports, it's coaches vote on it. All the coaches in the league talk about which kids should be who epitomize the, an all league player being the best player. There's their either position or just best player on their team overall. So these are voted on by the coaches. Um, big advocate of families uh, supporting their students to participate in tutoring, extracurricular activities. Again, here we go, our fearless leader, Principal Baker. <laughs> Remember, it always starts with the parents' success. We're glad to have you here. and everything, it really excites me when we have our scholar athletes that we recognize. It's not only about the sport, but it's about uh, maintaining high academic excellence. So this is the piece that I love to do, is recognize those who maintain a 3.0 or above during the season uh, as they uh, went through their sport of choice. I'm trying to get exactly what the grade point average is. So the first person that we're going to recognize is Rahelio Cuevas, who had, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're missing all the juicy, the saucy part. He had a 4.33 GPA. All right, next up was Mr. Juan Maldonado. Maldonado with a Maldonado with a 4.143 GPA. That's why he's going to be at San Diego State next year. Uh, next up is Julian G Jenkins. Uh, Drew had a 4.0 GPA. Another 4.0 GPA is Kobe Stevens. Good job. 
Well, Taekwon's not here tonight, but if Taekwon was here, he would tell you that he had a 3.667 GPA. He's on the baseball team. I'm going to get on his case tomorrow if I'm not coming to give his flowers tonight. How about Darius Jenkins with a 3.167 GPA? Give us a second while we sort through these things. All right, so now we're on the tennis team. We're going to start it off with Abigail Velez. Four. Oh, Abigail don't even want to hear what you did. Y'all need to hear what she did. 4.667 GPA. Oh. With a 4.167 GPA, Vivian Valadez. <laughs> With the perfect 4.0 GPA, La Rossi Devella. With a 3.667 GPA, Man Manat Kumari. <laughs> With a 3.5 GPA, as she took ride. Pretty excited about this guy is uh, was uh, named Coach of the Year for men's volleyball this year in our league. Coach Gilbert Pascal. <laughs> so these guys all should have been have gotten a patch or will be getting a patch from the league, uh, and those are specifically for an all league player. Like, so. Congratulations, guys. Let me, let me get a uh, picture. Wonderful job. Thank you, Coach Archie. Thank you very much. So here we go. Now we're into the Coach's Awards. And first up, we have Coach Harry, our baseball coach. Award, which 
uh, for me, is pretty important because these kids are amazing sports, no matter whether they win, lose. Uh, just overall, they're amazing. And that one, this year, they go to Ronald and Lil Rossi. Round of applause to our three coaches awards. 
next we have a track. All right, let's give a round of applause. Coach Hawkins. Amazing. He was actually 
fight for our number one spot. He kind of catch Disco on us. He said he did, but he did. Uh, and uh, so I'm super excited about what this kid can do in a couple years. Um, Emmanuel.
next player I want to recognize is uh, Drew Jenkins. Drew is a junior. Woo! Drew played uh, he back catch, he pitched, he uh, played shortstop. Uh, toward the end of the season, he, he was our leadoff hitter. Uh, anything we asked of him, he did for us, and uh, he has a bright future ahead of him. Next guy I want to recognize is Darius Jenkins. It's a little brother. Woo! Darius, uh, Darius uh, had a batting average of 469, I believe it was. Uh, he, he, he had a high average on the team. He also had a second team all league. Uh, he pitched, he played uh, uh, first base for us. And uh, man, if we can get him in the weight room, man, we're going to really lose. Do some dance. Uh, the next guy I want to recognize is Sister Jones, who's not here tonight. The next guy I want to uh, 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 recognize is Juan Maldonado. Juan is senior on the baseball team. Uh, Juan is the captain. Uh, Juan will be attending. Uh, San Diego State in the fall. I can't say it wasn't like him in the meeting since day one. has always been like the model citizen. I can turn to him for anything uh, uh, that, that I needed. Uh, leadership, integrity, uh, you name it. He's the type of guy you want to marry your daughter. And I'm just not going to lie. He's a good guy. <laughs> Mr. Patel. Mr. Patel, this is his first year ever playing baseball for us. And uh, man, he learned a lot really fast, uh, like how to use the glove. Uh, they would be throwing the ball to Mr. Patel maybe 80, 90 miles an hour, and sometimes he would use the glove. And uh, my favorite saying is, uh, you might end up in Kaiser tonight if you keep catching like that. <laughs> the next guy I want to introduce is the Vinny Siller Cortez. Woo! Yeah, there's another guy who gave me everything he had. He gave me 100%. Uh, just like you guys see him shaking my hand now, sometimes we'll be in the middle of a, of a, of a game. And Mr. Patel is uh, politicking with the uh, first baseman, the second baseman. He's talking to the people in the dugout all while the game is going on. And, and never got picked off. Next guy, Kobe Stevens. <laughs>